Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is Vlogmas day 14 and today I'm going to be showing you guys my 10 month update for my braces. I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys with me to the doctor's office so you guys can see everything they're going to be doing for the 10th month update. Um, but yeah, so let's get to it. Cuéntame de tu diente de abajo. Hi. Hi. Um, they're the same. They're the same in the yeah. movie? Or they're the same? No. So, do you feel... What do you mean they're the same? Like... That they're same moving? No. Oh, no, okay, no, okay, no. okay. But what I mean is the like... The position? Yeah. Okay. Y esto también. Los dos aquí. All right. I mean, maybe slightly they move okay. this one down here, but all. Okay, put your head in the middle. Victoria, what do you see on your upper ones? The gut, right? Right? The gut? The gaps right here. On okay. this one. Uh, and they're not, are they straight? For me, they are. Okay. So, uh, and the problem with the gap is that, move your head this way. So, this tooth should be a little bit more square. Because once your teeth touch here, uh -huh. Let me see if they're touching. Give me a floss, um, Jalisa. Sorry, I no, ate under okay. here. No, 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 <laughs> not a big deal. I just want to make sure that because once the teeth touch here, yeah. which I think they are, they never going to be able to touch right there. Uh -huh. Your teeth, if you want it, and even if you look at this side of the tooth, do you see how straight they are? It's like your tooth is leaning that that way. It's like you're missing all that part. Does yeah. that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's the anatomy of your tooth. I won't be able, if they're touching, no, but they're not. So you, your, your contact is light in there. Do you see? Yeah. So they will touch a little bit more, but this gap, like that space you always gonna see it because that's the shape of your tooth yeah so do you see that yeah if your tooth would be that way it would appear that it touches a little bit more yeah. but that's completely normal a lot of people look Aquí la here, la it's not that big mm -hmm. but still your tooth yeah. instead of being a straight it's like it's a slump. That's the anatomy of your tooth. Yeah. But I think they're straight. And once we reshape this a little bit, do you see how they're wavy? Mm -hmm. Like you're gonna see them a lot more straight. Okay, good. Yes, I don't think you have, in the bottom, yes. You definitely have a problem in the bottom. Yeah. So let's change a couple of brackets. In the bottom. So get me ready. Que le vamos a cambiar este y este. Because I think that these two are on the right position. This one is not. And this one is not. Remind me again. Which one is the one that you feel like is moving sometimes? Okay. Perfect. Because that one I think. And it's not moving now. Right? Okay.
so basically they put on the power chains today on the top only so let me show you guys you see on the top and then on the bottom it's the single chains so let me just go ahead and explain real quick if you guys haven't seen my ninth month update for the braces i'm gonna go ahead and link it up right here um but basically they had to move two brackets like they had to go ahead and reposition them because they want my my front two teeth which are these here you can't see it right now because i have the wax um but i did show you guys throughout the video of that but they had to go ahead and switch the positions of them so that way they can try to shift my front two bottom teeth um because one of them is a little bit forward and the other one's a little bit back so they want to go ahead and definitely fix that but anyways they put the power chains on the top of my teeth like i just showed you guys um that's basically meant because this tooth here has to shift a little bit because i still have a gap of here like if you put the doctor as you guys saw to put floss in between this tooth and she noticed that, you know, I still have a little bit of room for it to move um, so we can straighten out. But this gap right here, that gap is always going to be there because it's the anatomy of my teeth, unfortunately. Um, but they are going to shift a little bit more. This one and this one. The doctor said that for right now, she thinks that they're like as straight as they're going to get. See this one and this one. But this one has to move just a little bit because when you put the floss through there there's still a little gap there so that's why they put the power chains to close the gaps and then on the bottom i have just a single chains they went ahead and they put a thicker wire on the bottom of my teeth and that's obviously meant because the thicker the wire is the more movement you're gonna have um and the more like like stronger the movement will have if that makes sense um so that's why they put the thicker wire and they did put the two metal um wires on the bottom right here and yeah so that's pretty much it for the 10th month update so if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button down below and make sure to subscribe to my channel um i know that a lot of you guys who watch my videos especially my braces videos a lot of you guys aren't subscribed so please 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 if you guys like these videos go ahead and subscribe I'm going to be putting up here the whole braces playlist so you guys can go ahead and check that out and then at the end of the video i'll definitely link that playlist as well so you guys can just click it and then you guys will see from the moment that i got my braces which was back in march all the way to this month which is december um and yeah like i said i really hope you guys enjoy these videos make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye